Glad to see you again. Very good to see you. Got the good weather out for us. Beautiful. Welcome to Atlanta, Mr. Burr. Thank you very much. It's nice to be back. Tell me something. Uh, playing a law enforcement officer as you do in a TV series, do you feel a special responsibility to enforce the good image of the law enforcement officer? Well, I think the we try very carefully on the show to uh, be involved with what's happening today in the right way. And uh, as a private citizen, of course, I become I have. Uh, become much more interested in what's happening with the law, law enforcement across the country. It's uh, not a very far step, however, from nine years with the other show. I was involved with the law there also. Um, something of a, a catchphrase uh, today, especially in mayoral campaigns. What is your definition of law and order? Well, I like justice involved in, in those two words. I don't think you can have law and order without justice. And um, I think you can define law and order to suit any situation or suit any person. And uh, I think it's been well defined and badly defined in the last couple of years. How do you think it's been misused? Well, you, uh, you'd have to get to the individual situation there. And I, I, I think probably, unless we were talking about a situation, it can be very narrowly defined. And, uh, and uh, I think that's its misuse. It has to have a much broader connotation than those people who just use it narrowly. Narrowly defined in what way, though? Well, what is law and order for under one situation can be quite different under another. And uh, as I say, we'd have to take individual situations in order to really express ourselves you know, fully on the matter. Do you feel the phrase has achieved a racial connotation? I think it's been used a good deal in that because of the, the uh, stress on civil rights today uh, but, uh, and the stress on, the un, on, on any violence, the unrest in the uh, colleges and universities, and the unrest in uh, several other segments of our society today, the unrest in the poverty group. Um, civil rights uh, uh, has been on the forefront. Uh, and has taken the brunt of a lot of things I think that uh, shouldn't have happened as far as definitions are concerned. Uh, violence comes up at the same time as civil rights. That's not, that hasn't been the case really across the country. Violence has come up from a great many other things also. You've been on both sides of the fence, both a defense lawyer and a, a prosecution official, so to speak. Do you feel that law enforcement... I don't think a police officer can be called a prosecution official. Well, let's say you've, you've been on both sides. Uh, trying to make cases and trying to defend people. Uh, 
do you feel that law enforcement officers today are handcuffed by court decisions? I would have to really think that over before I, uh, I answered it. I think the most important thing in the world is to preserve the rights that we have under our Constitution. I, I think certain infringements uh, of those rights uh, might be uh, conceivably uh, handcuff uh, certain people. I think it's more important to keep the rights, however. Uh, once the rights begin to go, then we become like the Iron Curtain countries. <clears throat> and a great many things that we are actually and have been fighting for uh, and the reason this country came into being uh, was for the freedoms that we enjoy. Uh, however, with those freedoms, a lot of people don't realize that there are certain responsibilities. And uh, I think that's a question of education also. And do you think at times that we perhaps may be in danger of losing some of these freedoms because of the excesses of certain groups? I think uh, anything in excess is wrong. Uh, if, if it goes over a great period of time, uh, too much of anything uh, in excess, you know, uh, it is very likely wrong if it uh, proceeds over a long period of time. Thank you very much, You're Mr. Welcome. Byrne. Sorry to keep you out here in the hot sun. You've been on both sides of the fence, so to speak, as a defense attorney and as a law enforcement official. Do you feel that law enforcement officials have been handcuffed in the performance of their duty by certain court decisions? Do you think we may be in danger of losing some of those freedoms because of excesses on the part of certain groups? The term law and order has become sort of a catchphrase used especially in some mayoral campaigns. What is your definition of law and order? Do you think it sometimes, do you think law and order sometimes has a racial connotation? Come on. Come on. All right. All right, let me come down. All right. Well, it's too...